My next guest this morning is down here for the Artist in Residency program at the studios of Key West. She's been able to draw lots of inspiration from the island the past month. Now she is a very talented playwright, director, and mentor. She has almost 30 years experience developing new works for theater, opera, radio, and multimedia. Juanita, it is such a pleasure to have you here this morning. Thank you for being on. Juanita, I've talked with some of the artists and residents who are photographers or maybe they're authors, painters. You are the first playwright and director, so I, I'm excited to know a little bit more about you this morning. Why did you feel that this was an experience that you needed to take? Well, the studios at Key West are, is an amazing organization. It's been great to be here and even before coming, I knew that it would be somewhere beautifully inspiring in terms of nature, but the true reason is really about finding that time away from one's regular life mm -hmm. to be able to focus 100% on the work. And so that is, there's something about triggering your own mind to say, this is a time in which I can work completely on my project mm -hmm. that uh, it makes a difference and you set aside things and you uh, clear your schedule and your mind to be here so that was really the the main thing and it's also great to be able to interact with the other artists that are here mm -hmm. and TSKW has great uh, people staying here. Absolutely. This month is no exception and every month they always have so many amazing artists in residence like yourself. Juanita, what projects have you been working on this past month? Uh, I'm mostly working on two different projects. One is a rewrite of a project that's had a couple of productions. It's called Between Trains, a play with songs. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's had a couple of productions, but theater is sort of made to be developed because you don't really um, you don't really understand or see a work until it's in production when it's on the page it's words on a page is only a small part really of a play and so when seeing it in production you ha uh, I have the opportunity to see what's working what's not working what are things that can be developed or edited and so I'm having the chance to do that because I'll actually be directing a production of it at the university where I teach uh, in Baltimore, Towson University. And uh, so this gives me a chance to really get it just the way I want so then I can send it out to other theaters again at that, at that point. And the other uh, project is uh, called A Little Patch of Ground. And that is a sequel, sort of, to mm -hmm. Hamlet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also a play with songs, and uh, it, it, it starts where Hamlet ends with those bodies at the end, mm -hmm. and it focuses on the grave digger, and it's kind of a, a, a comic meditation on impermanence with songs. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. And you're actually going to be working with your husband on this project. Yes. Uh, I collaborate with my husband who is a composer and videographer. His name is Chaz Marsh. And uh, he he's one of my favorite collaborators. <laughs> um, and he and I have done several projects together. Both of these are with his music. And we have also worked together where he has uh, designed sound. Uh, for productions that I've directed, and he's done video for projects. Um, we s have started work on a uh, web series based on actually Between Trains, this one of the pieces I'm working on. Uh, so he, he can sort of do almost everything, yeah. so uh, he's a great collaborator in that mm -hmm. way. Well, it sounds like you two make a good team, so, so yes. it's great that it works out. How did you get into this field? God, those, that's one of those things that you can, how far back do you go, right? <laughs> um, I guess I'll say that in terms of playwriting, I got into it because I was director of a theater company that produced exclusively premieres of new works. And I met just the most extraordinary playwrights at that time. I was very lucky to be uh, producing new plays at a time when there was a real resurgence in uh, a special kind of playwriting that really focused on 
experimentation in language and structure. And I was working with um, playwrights who went on to become famous, but at the time were not playwrights who went on to win MacArthur Awards and Obies and Tonys and Pulitzers and all those things. So it was um, Paula Vogel and Susan Laurie Parks and uh, Eric N. and just a, a whole host of Donna Di Novelli, all kinds of playwrights who went on to uh, have more success. But at the time, we were a relatively small company and we were uh, able to not just do readings of their work, which is what as playwrights now, play, theaters mostly say, we'll do a staged reading of your work. But we did full productions, and, it, and that's what really gives a playwright an opportunity to see how the piece is working and what they need to do to it. They don't need a whole panel of people helping them. They just need to be able to see the work. And uh, I think I really came to understand that as a director, and I loved working with new playwrights or I shouldn't, with playwrights, working directly with living playwrights. And uh, then over that time, I feel like that was kind of my initial classroom for playwriting. And I became more and more interested while I was still at Company One Theater. This was the theater in Hartford. I uh, wrote uh, the libretto for an opera, which was my first opera. Did some radio plays at that time because we had a radio, uh, radio drama series. And uh, since then, I've just uh, focused more and more, really, on the writing. And that's even become more important to me than the directing, which was my, my first big professional love. Well, great. And now, Juanita, you get to go home briefly after this trip to Key West, but then you are back on the road again. Yes. And you'll be doing some international travel. Before we go this morning, tell us where you're headed to next. I'm going to Bulgaria and I'll be teaching in Sofia. I'll be teaching a workshop that's being sponsored by the Drama League of New York and the artistic director, uh, the director, I guess is his official title, Gabriel Shanks. And uh, we're going to teach a workshop in Anne Bogart's uh, viewpoints uh, along with Barb Lanciers, who uh, is um, an instructor in viewpoints also. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a chance to um, to work with professionals in the Sophia scene, which I'm very much looking forward to. Playwrights, uh, sonographers, directors, actors. Great. I'm uh, looking forward to that. Great. Well, another great opportunity is ahead for you. Juanita, it's been a pleasure talking with you, and I hope to see you back in Key West someday again. Soon. Oh, I hope very much. And I, <laughs> I want to, again, thank the studios of Key West for this incredible opportunity. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.